Hi guys, it's Martin here from Astronics. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to quick fix a Valio alternator. Um, DIM alternators have been fitted in vehicles for years and years. The main problem in DIM, ones, in DIM, in DIM alternators is that the brushes go in them. It's a simple job, it's quick, it's cheap, and most of the time will either solve the problem completely, because that's what happens with a lot of them, or it will get you to the point where you can go to the, to the mechanic or to the auto electrician to do the job properly. Now guys, this is one of them value alternators. Now they fit a range of vehicles, Ford, all these Volkswagens. They can be fitted into anything, really. Um, now they come in different shapes and sizes, but the best way to recognize that's the one you have is just to simply have a look at the alternator and there's always going to be a sticker saying value somewhere at some stage at some point as you see this one is at the back at the back plastic cover there and in case of this alternator this one actually has a sticker on the side but as you see it always says value and there's always a bit of a number there and it says value here on the green now this is the alternator I'm going to be doing today now if the alternator isn't charging we take the alternator out obviously and this is it now there's always a black plastic cover at the back of them which has to be taken off now sometimes dim plastic covers like in this case there's no nuts holding it it just pops out where in this where in this alternator the plastic cover is held by two screws here and on the other side here but the one I'm showing today is not held by anything so we just simply take off the cover get the screwdriver Lever it off, that will come off very easy. Some of them you have to use bolts. Now, what we see here is a rectifier, which is never a problem in them, and a regulator. Now, the brushes are always situated in the regulator, and that's where the problem is most of the time. Now, there could be different regulators, as you see, this one has a plug here, some ones have bolts or different assemblies on them, but that's what you want to take off the regulator of the, of the alternator. Now guys, regulators on them alternators are usually held by three screws. So one here, one here, and one there. Now some of them might have might have one here and only one here and one there. It could be different layout, but generally it's it's the regulator looks looks familiar to this one. Now what we have to do, we just take them off. Normally they are seven sockets. Now we have our bolts off, pull off the regulator, and as you can see, the brushes in it are very very short. Now, to be 100% sure it's a problem, the best thing to do is to have a look at the slip ring, and as you can see, the top one, the top slip ring, is blackened, and the bottom one is shiny. Now, that means there was no connection being made there at the top slip ring, it means the top brush is gone. Now, in newer alternators, in newer regulators, what you can see is, inside there, where the brushes are situated, the brush is pulled pulled back, is held by a little plastic piece inside of the cap. Now the best thing to do to take that to take that um, cap out is to simply just get a small screwdriver, shove it underneath the brush, inside there, and just break off the little plastic thing. And then the cap will shove off. The plastic blockers, the idea of it is that they are easy to be they are easier to be assembled if they are, when they are manufactured new. So break off the piece inside and shove the cap out. Now guys, we have our cap shoved off the brush. Now in here you can see we have two brushes now. This one is relatively shiny which means it was making the contact but this one on the middle it's blackened. This means this is our problem. Brushes are our problem and changing them will, sil will, will simply solve it. Now to change brushes we have to loosen them there now because the brushes have the leads going along there's a, there's a, usually there's a silicone bubble here put in on all of them simply what you have to do is just break it off and we have two of them connections here now the next thing to do is get a hacksaw or if you have grinder or grinding stone and all what you have to do is just get them tips off and level them I'll do it and I'll show you guys how it should look after you have it done. Now guys, 
this is done as you can see the tops are off and these surfaces are quite shiny what we can do now we just heat it up with the solder iron and the brushes will simply hop out I show it to you how it's done now if you're going to be doing it yourself it'll be it'll be a bit easier for you if you just put the bubble of solder now see one brush is out and now we just heat up the other one and the other one is out now what you want to do as well is you want to give them surfaces another shot of so another shot of iron and make sure you have a visible hole is in there so you can pull the new lead from the brush out through them just like this see you can you can see you can see you can almost see through them you can see through them now but before we are going to change our brushes and before we do all that the most important thing is to have a good look at the slip rings there now these slip rings as you can see if you've seen my videos before and some of them I just I, I, I explain how to see if the slip ring is bad or good now as we can see the bottom slip ring the surface there is quite uneven there's little track cut in but that doesn't mean it's gone the bottom one is actually quite good now the one on the top here this one it's blackened so first of all we have to we have to give it a little clean up with the with the fine sandpaper to make it nice and shiny and the other thing is the track inside is actually quite deep if you put your finger down you can actually feel the edges quite sharp now this slip ring is down a fair bit but it's still usable after changing the brushes and cleaning this surface this was this still will work for a for a good bit on the slip rings are usable as long as you don't see the dash as, as there's no plastic going through them if you clean up your slip ring and just turn around the rotor if you can't see the plastic through it means it will work so let's clean it up and change the brushes now regular now guys we have our slip ring nicely cleaned see the top and the bottom are shiny now it's time to put new brushes into the regulator now guys this is the reason why I'm, I'm making this video because them two brushes they fit all of the value alternators for the last manufactured in the last 30 years it's the same set of brushes they never change for the last 30 years so even if your alternator is very old there's only one type of brushes that does that we have our regulator here now what we do first is put the spring through first now get your brush make sure the lead is kind of straight looking enough now shove your lead gently inside and there you go it's gone through now the next step is just shove the brush in make sure it brush kind of comes out like that then fold the lead over like that and all what you have to do is get the pliers hold the lead with the pliers and put a drop of solder onto the connection there now guys we have our bit of solder here just it's not that easy to do it on your own but we try we do our best now just feed a bit of the solder there heat it up now the important thing to remember is while you're doing it is that you want this hole to be blanked off by the solder as you see in this situation we have succeeded now all what you have to do now is just simply, just simply break off the wire and our brush is nice and flexible in there never use too much solder because what can happen is the solder can run down the copper wire and can harden the wire and it will simply break off then do the same thing with the second brush and it's time to put that back into the alternator now guys our brushes are changed now we are going to fit the regulator back onto the alternator simply what you have to do is pull the brushes back with your fingers and slide the regulator over the slip rings and now we just have to put our three bolts back in where they were so one here two of them there and now we just have to simply tighten them now we have all our three bolts tightened and this is our cap which we haven't forgot about what you do is just put the cap over the rail and just simply 
slide it down like that and that's it the cover goes on just like that and the alternator is good to be put in the vehicle and it will you could be 100% sure it will work now the alternators come in different shapes different sizes but the general rule of the thumb is that there's the brushes are exactly the same in every single one of them if you think and if you think the slip rings are good enough to work just change the brushes put everything together and it'll work away and it's simple it's as simple as that ne it's never any more complicated than it is in this as it was in this case sometimes there's only two bolts holding the cover and that's about it there's always three bolts holding the regulator there's only two brushes in them diagnose the slip rings diagnose the brushes if you think that will solve the problem it will definitely make the alternator charge again and it's a cheap job as well now guys thanks for watching the video um, you remember as I said it's a value alternator and they are like that for the last 30 years they are all the same regulator all the same brushes it's a simple cheap job I hope you get it done rightly and it will work away for you please if you like the video give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Stay tuned. Thanks.